Hey guys and welcome back. In today's video, we are going to talk about Lucy and why is she so special. And no, not Lucy the movie, but Lucy the fossil. Now Lucy is the nickname of one of the most well-known human ancestor fossils. So how was this fossil found? Well, one could say that the discovery was a funny bone story because the first thing that was spotted was the right proximal ulna. You know how when you bump the ulnar nerve in your elbow, it presses against your humerus and you get that tingly funny bone feeling? Anyway, moving on. It was in 1974, November the 24th that this happened. Donald Johansson and Tom Gray were the ones that first spotted the fossil at the site of Hadar, Ethiopia. Lucy's broken ulna was protruding from the sediments that were known to be 3.2 million years old and Johansson could tell just by its shape and size that it definitely belonged to a primate. Johansson and Gray thoroughly scanned the ground and were more than happy to discover many more fossilized bone fragments which included parts of a cranium, mandible, ribs, pelvis, thighs, feet and more which made him sure that it was definitely fossils of a hominin. This was surely a glorious find, but how did they know that the remains were of a female and why did they name it Lucy? Immediately after putting together the fragments, Johansson concluded that the fossils were of a female due to her small size. He knew that because like many living primates tended to be sexually dimorphic, meaning the males were bigger than the females. And in 2008, a team of scientists virtually reconstructed Lucy's damaged femur using 3D computer-based technology and mathematical formulas and found that she was probably just a few millimeters shorter than 106 centimeters. Coming to naming of the fossil. In the same day of the discovery, Later in the night, there was much celebration and excitement over the discovery of what looked like a fairly complete hominid skeleton. There was of course drinking, dancing and singing and the song playing was the Beatles song Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds over and over. At some point during that night, no one remembers when or by whom the skeleton was given the name Lucy and the name stuck ever since. After proper study and making sure that all the fossilized bones were from the same individual, it was time to move to the next step determining if the individual walked upright like us. As in a modern human skeleton, Lucy's bones arrive with evidence clearly pointing to bipedality and her distal femur, shaft, kneecap and various other skeletal parts shows just that. After clearing this up, it was time to tell us which species did Lucy belong to. In the few years following Lucy's discovery, many more hominin specimens were collected from Hadar, including hundreds of specimens from the locality and even the remains of at least 13 individuals which was nicknamed the first family. In addition, hominin fossils resembling those found at Hadar were discovered at a fossil site called Letholi in Tanzania. Johansson and his colleague Dr. Tim White studied the collection of East African fossils very carefully, paying close attention to the variation among the specimens and considered whether the East Africa fossils represented a single species or more than one species. They presented their findings to a team of researchers and the group ultimately agreed that Lucy was part of a single previously undiscovered species of hominin and this newly identified species Australopithecus afarensis was announced by Johansson in 1978. Due to her small size, some asked if she was a child when she died, but the answer is no. Evident from her teeth and bones, Lucy was a full adult when she passed. Her wisdom teeth, which were very human-like, were exposed 
and appear to have been in use for a while before her death. In addition, the sections of her skull separated in children had grown together. Scientists say she was probably between 12 to 18 years old, standing 3.5 feet tall and weighing about 28 kgs. This may sound weird, but it's not. Based on the fossilized teeth and bones of infant and juvenile hominins, researchers know that hominins like Lucy developed faster than humans but more slowly than chimpanzees. Now that all the important questions have been answered, I will tell you why Lucy is so special. To the Ethiopians, she is a symbol of their country. Lucy's Ethiopian name is Dinkinesh, which translates to You Are Marvelous. People of the Afar region call her Hilomali, which means she is special. But scientifically, she is special because she was the oldest, most complete hominin skeleton covered. She was evidence that bipedalism evolved before large modern human-sized brains evolved and her discovery supported the scientific view that human evolution was a gradual process involving the appearance and survival of transitional forms over long periods of time. The real Lucy is stored in a specially constructed safe in the Paleoanthropology Laboratories of the National Museum of Ethiopia in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Lucy's skeleton consists of 47 out of the total number of bones that forms a complete human skeleton. It's a story that began to take shape in late November 1974 in Ethiopia with the discovery of the skeleton of a small female nicknamed Lucy. More than 40 years later, Australopithecus apparensis is one of the best represented species in the hominin fossil record. If you want to know more about Australopithecus afarensis, you can always check out our other videos. So thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know what you thought of it in the comment section down below and do not forget to support our channel by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then, this is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.